Rosie, uh, I guess it's a welcome back of sorts. Uh, what's it like to be back in the WNBL after four years away at college? Oh, you know, it's exciting to be back here playing in Australia. It's nice to be able to finally play in front of my family and friends again. And, you know, being back here, obviously the game's changed a lot since I last played. I feel like a lot of players are staying instead of leaving to go overseas. So, the I suppose the style of play is a lot more athletic and the high calibre players, you know, it's making a really good league these days. Your college, Fresno State, uh, I think there's been quite a few Australians that have been through uh, the system over there, uh, hasn't there? Yeah, I think there's been, since I've been there, maybe seven. So I think it's helpful when you have a few Australians. I played with a couple in my junior program and knowing that they've been there, they've enjoyed the experience, makes you feel more likely, to, you know, happier to go there to a place where, you know, you're going to an unknown territory, pretty much. You know, your parents are sending you over there, so it's nice to know that they got through there safe and they enjoyed it. And college basketball in general, what's it like in terms of atmosphere following uh, the, the size of the, the colleges, uh, the preparation, that kind of thing? Oh, it's a lot more, I guess, not more intense, but the atmosphere is a lot more intense. We have a lot of followers. People think you're famous over there and it's like, well, we're just college athletes. But on average, we get about 4,000 people to our games and that was... A, you know, an average night. Like we got a few times, nine thousand people at our games, and it's just it's like coming from Australian basketball, where you know you just don't get that many. To that, it was just it was crazy. It was so awesome to play in front of an atmosphere like that. <laughs> oh. Perimeter shot again. It comes from Rosie Mole. Memory serves me correctly, Laurie. You might have coached her at different times during her junior career. I have, yes, and she was part of the um, under twenty squad, as was um, Steph Cumming, Alice Kunick. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you set some all-school records for three-point shooting at Fresno State. Is that a strength of yours? Yeah, that's what that's what I did over there. I was a three-point shooter. Our um, our team, we were always shorter compared to the rest of the competition, but we were quick, run and gun, and shoot shoot a lot of threes. So there, yeah, that's my strength coming out from there. Have the players talked about the disappointment of Dandenong's, uh, the way they finished last year, or has it really just been a fresh slate, you think? No, it's been a completely fresh slate this year, I, I believe. You know, Mark tried to, you know, instill in us as well that this is a new team. You know, they've lost players from last year, so we've got a whole new team, so just focus on what we've got now and go forward. And, you know, try and get as many, obviously, wins that we can from now until March, and then that's just our focus at the moment, not worrying about the mistakes from last year, because you can't do anything about that.